Hey there, I'm Mary Beth McGann, Drews and Grand Central. How are you? Hey, Miss Mary Beth, I'm good. How you doing? So good. So nice to meet you. Congratulations on the deliverance. Thank Your you. Your first like full on horror movie. How does it feel to have become a horror film director? I don't know. Is it horror? I I don't know. I, I call it my faith based thriller. Okay. Okay. Cool. But I, I like guess that. there's some horror in it. Yeah. I mean, just. I mean, there's demons, so it is horror. It's hard I'm to categorize the film. Yeah, so I'm, as a horror person, I just call everything horror, but horror is such a cool label. Like, I feel like it's so flexible. But, but let me ask yeah. you something. When you when people yeah. when people say horror, do you think they're going to think that? Cause they, with horror, I think jump scare, jump scare, jump scare from the beginning, where this was sort of a, a drama about this sort of biracial girl yeah. with this white mother and these black kids and, like, the complications of what family's about, and then I trick you into the horror once you're invested into them later on. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I love that, though, because I think something that I love about this movie is, and I'm sure you know this, like, possession horror movies, like The Exorcist, you know, everything. It's so, it's very white. It's very much about faith through a very white lens. And then having this film dealing with so many different issues, but also, and I know in the press notes talking about actually putting a possession horror in the black church, it's really awesome to have a not like very typical perspective we see in that. So I wanted to hear more from you about making this movie mm -hmm. and addressing the horror of it, but also making sure to say something a little bit different than just your typical like scary demon movie. Right. I didn't realize that there weren't any black horror films. That's a, I didn't think that coming going into it. I just wanted to tell, you know, the story of, of, of possession. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and then I think right before I started shooting, I realized that there wasn't anything that I could refer to. Um, yeah. Which was really crazy. I mean, there are a couple of uh, black exploitation films in the yeah. uh, in the seventies, uh, but nothing that's grounded. It's nothing that uh, that I could take really, really serious. Yeah, and so I was. Um, I was curious about your experience with the genre personally. Like, do you like movies that are scary, thrillers, horror? Like, is that something that you find yourself ever gravitating to as a viewer? Uh. Yes, there is a uh, film called Don't Look At It or whatever. Don't Look Up. Don't, don't Look Now. Don't Look Now. Okay. Now, to me, that's horror. That's straight up crazy horror that I'm obsessed with. The I Donald mean, it, Sutherland it's, movie in Italy? Say what? It's the Donald Sutherland movie in, in Italy. Right? No, not the that one. one. Not that, that one. Oh, Remember oh. The, two, the, two, uh, the two brothers from Australia? That, uh, oh, don't talk to me. Don't talk, talk. talk to me. To, is it what's it called? Yeah, talk to me. Talk oh, to me, baby. That came out last. Yes. Whoa. Okay. To me, that's straight up horror, in your face. To this is not that. I don't think this is. This is oh, certainly yeah. not that. This Different, is you know, sure. and this is certainly not um, Get Out, where it's more of a you know a, yeah. a statement about a, you know a, a, a comedic statement on it, on the times that we're living in. Yeah. This is more of a tribute to the. Exorcist and Rosemary's Baby and, yeah. and the Omen, sort of classic old school, oh, yeah. uh, I guess, horror, but it's not horror. It's, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a faith based it's like thriller. It's hard to put a label on it. Yeah. yeah. And um, I would also like this is based, inspired by a true story. Can inspired you just tell me by. Why? Inspired, inspired by. by. Not yeah. based. I know that it was inspired by. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to just hear a little bit more about using that real story as kind of an inspiration and then crafting this out of that, like, right. and, and trying to be delicate with that. Well, I wanted to tell her story, but I I really do feel that uh, if you, um, if you, um, that's okay, I'm sorry, no worries. We gotta cough. Um, I uh, wanted to tell her story, but I do believe that if you, like my mom didn't want me to tell the story when it came uh, when I first got it because she feels that them spirits, she knows I'm an open portal and she knows how I direct and she was afraid that that kind of stuff would hit me. And so uh, what I did was I, um, I decided that it was better to sort of tell it as a, um, tell it as a, uh, tell it years later. But I got it when it was, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm thrown off for a second. I got this story when it was um, when I did Precious. They came to mm -hmm. me with the story, and I was going to tell it, but my mom didn't want me to. My mom didn't want me to do it, uh, and because um, she felt that I was going to be um, that 
that evil spirits were going to come. And yeah. so I okay. decided uh, that since we're in dark times right now, that it was now the time to tell it. Years later, that it was yeah. now the time to tell it. And um, and that we need to find a higher we need to find a higher power. Cool. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me about the deliverance <laughs> and talking about genre and weird labels and all that stuff. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.